Okay, this is a video that um, I, to be honest, um, I didn't really kind of want to have to have to make, to be honest, because um, I mean I know I, <clears throat> sometimes I make rant videos on certain things, but I don't want to sit there and general. I don't want to sit there, even though I keep, I I say it myself that um, go on and make videos that I try and be negative intentionally. Um, <clears throat> so, but. For me, I had to get this off my chest and actually, you know what, be honest by um, what's been plaguing in my mind and stuff. So, um, of recently, um, my iPad broke. I mean, I don't have a computer, my iPad broke. <coughs> the actual home button broke. This is, this is one of the old style iPads where you have the home button. Obviously, like the new ones, the, the new iPads now don't, or even the phones don't have the home button on them anymore because the, um, and then that's kind of great because at least you're not going to get the broken thing so <clears throat> now you might be saying well how might that be, be effect well again don't have a computer I used to have a MacBook ages ago and I mostly I used to use my iPad for basically streaming and stuff I was watching like stuff but then I've managed to get the apps on the game consoles and but what I was mostly using it for is that if I'm say streaming on Twitch with the Xbox or PS5, the PS5 or PS4, you know, I've got both consoles. They allow you to stream directly to YouTube, directly to Twitch, or um, they allow you to um, to basically um, they basically allow you to um, um, you can actually record sections of a video for whatever it's half an hour to an hour or so. And then, and then what you can then do is then upload it to YouTube. Obviously, you can't upload it to twi twi Twitter because you're only allowed to do 30 seconds. But the problem with Xbox is you can record footage on the right Xbox, but you only can it for 30 seconds. And you can't directly upload to, um, to Twitch, for example. <clears throat> right? So for, for a reason, I know, I know they used to allow to do that. So when I got the Xbox One S, I thought, oh, you'll be able to do that. Found that you couldn't. And then even with the Series, even with the Series X, can't do that either. For whatever <clears throat> silly reason. So what I had to do was um, play on Twitch, obviously with, via, via the Xbox. And then on the iPad, I had to sit there and get up the desktop version of Twitch. Because if you use the app, for argument's sake, and um, the app still got half. Of it. Even you use apps of like sort of YouTube or Twitch, half the stuff in it is still stripped. Half the stuff in it is still stripped out. So you have to sit there and get the desktop version of that particular thing. And then what I had to do is once I finished um, streaming, I basically had to basically export um, the actual video from the desktop from the desk from the desktop um from the desktop twitch and then export it from there directly to twitch and then that's how i have to do it sorry directly to youtube and that was the and then somebody in um in, went in my local game when it was open told me how he told me um <clears throat> how to do it so that's how i was that's how i was doing playthroughs of xbox games that's the only way i could do it and with the with weird ps4 not a problem I, I, I don't know why, for example, it's it, why it's why most have to be an ass about it. <clears throat> so obviously, with the iPad broken now, I can't do that anymore. And then even if you do that on a phone, like the phone, it's kind of really small, so <clears throat> it's really hard to see it properly. And especially, I've been having, again, I've been saying that I've been having problems with my eyes, and I've been having problems with my eyes from ages ago anyway. And obviously, being diabetic and long sighted and short sighted, so <clears throat> that's kind of been a bit of a down thing where it just that's that's just where that just kind of just broken and I'm unable um, to do you know like stuff like that but <clears throat> what's kind of um, the, 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 what the topic I want to kind of want to go into is what's really disappointed me in life is that you is that, is that how <clears throat> and I'm, I'm probably going to get accused of being woke on this and living in this like fantasy world but it's how people in this world can be so cruel 
and can be so nasty and then they're not supportive and then they just don't ha have your back and they just, people just go out of their way to be nasty and cruel and I don't and I don't understand any of it I mean I've had some I've had people I've I was basically I'm not gonna go into where what happened where I was trying to explain to somebody how the why um, how the box office works and why sequels of movies are made and at the end of the day everything in life is about business it's about making a profit with the shareholders and at the end of the day with with any business if you're not making business some people to be I have to have a business you have to be ruthless and if you basically um if you basically can't do you have to make the tough decisions in running a business you you're not going to make money and if you're sitting there and making whether it's a movie or product or a game or whatever it is or even a co like when comics when you when someone's writing a comic co a particular comic character and that comic character maybe the comic itself just aren't doing very well you're not going to sit there as a somebody that's making money you're not going to sit there and waste your money in like doing something i mean you're as i said losing like profit of it because at the end of the day it's your money you're you're as a shareholder or someone that shares something you're um <clears throat> you're there to sit there to make money and if you're making a movie and it's profitable then you're good you, it's guaranteed you, you're gonna guarantee that's why you see like wonder woman and aquaman and certain movies or whatever even marvel movies sequels where they're fast tracked because at the end of the day they're making money and as much as and so they're out to entertain you they're out there to sit there to make money. That that's just the reality of what the world is, and people need to sit there and kind of get a grip in how things, how life really works. If it's, if, everything's about money. It's where it's how people distribute it. Obviously, that's another another story, <clears throat> right? I and mean, sometimes you're trying to explain to people how things work and why things work, and then so and you're trying to and then when you you you're getting some people you're trying to explain to people first because you know a little about, about it. And then you're just getting the abuse of so people just not listening or reading or not reading or understanding what you're trying to explain to somebody about how the, the, the system works. And then some, it's, it's, you, you can have something that is factual. So, for example, if you're sitting there saying, well, this is how a business runs to make profit. And if something doesn't make profit, you're not going to make it. That's factual. If, say, for example, you don't like a particular album, you don't like a comic. But somebody else might might like it, but you might not like it, or you might dis or you might dislike it, or that person might like it. That's a opinion. And all you're trying to do in life is trying to share to people, look, this is how say something works. And instead of sitting there and thinking and instead of the person say people sitting there and thinking, right, I'm gonna read exactly what the person said. They, they just misread what, what what you've said, and then eventually they sit there and they turn out to be abusive even though they you're initially out there trying to sit there and trying to help people and in all my life as I said before I've always I mean I've, I've had my struggles in life but you have to get over it like you have to yeah sometimes in life things can be difficult and you just have to sit there and you just have to get on with life because that's just how life is life is tough especially now um, in the UK and I know this is probably like this in the rest of the world where the cost of living is expensive people are struggling having to go to food banks and Energy prices are going up, then they're going up again, and then they'll be going up again, and then people have to decide, do I turn the electric? <coughs> do I turn the gas? And even my electric and gas, and even my, my gas, especially electric, has, has gone up, like no one's business, but you still have to do it unless things decide to change. And and then second, and then on top of that, I think I've, I've always said this before, and I don't want to keep repeating this. Um, a couple of few months ago, I lost, I, I lost my cousin. And... I don't want to sit there and kind of get emotional or cry because obviously I'm going to get accused by, by again, this has happened to me, of being plain victim. And then I lost my cousin and then it hurts. And then it hurts because it change, because it does change you. I mean, losing a loved one, it could happen to everybody, especially on, on, you know, with the pandemic where people have lost loved ones. Right? And with and in my case, it wasn't like the, my cousin had long-term Ill, um, illnesses it just happened all of a sudden out of the blue and i still and then i was close 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 to her and every time i keep sitting there and i'm thinking you know what i'm just thinking it's just it's maybe it's just one big sick joke that 
I'm going to wake up and then it was just a nightmare. But you, the reality is that, you know, this is what's happened. And then, as I said before, I still miss her. <clears throat> but then I will always, always will remember the good times I had of her. But what, some, what life does at the same time is you realise that life can be short. You don't, you could sit there, I could, I, I I could sit there and live for another 40 years. I could, I could drop down dead tomorrow, tomorrow morning. You, you just don't know what is, what, what is going to happen in life. And then the problem I have with people is what they, what they do is that people don't learn to appreciate how life, life is or how precious life is or it could be gone in the blink of an eye. I mean, you only get one chance at life. It's not like, oh, um, someone's gonna be resurrected or, or resurrected out of the blue, or, you know, or, or whatever. But you start to think of life differently. I mean, you start to appreciate things. Even though, yeah, life is, again, as I said before, life has been difficult. But you start to appreciate the thing, you learn to appreciate the things more than what you have in life. As of well, I've been lucky enough say for, um, for example where i was given an xbox one s i was then given a, i was then given an xbox series x i mean very lucky to get given um a, P, a ps5 but and then you you know how difficult people know how difficult it is especially the ps5 in getting one and of all i can't sit i can't buy the latest games in it and the do the so i could do the playthroughs of it I've got a few games for the PS5, and even some the, console, the game consoles I have, I can't buy the latest games that are out for the consoles, wherever I, and sometimes you're given them, or you can afford to buy one of them, but with what I've got, and then with my movie collection, you, my, even with my movie collection, I know I'm grateful for, um, for what I have, <coughs> and as I said, my health has been failing, um, and at the end of the day, I can't sit there, even though it's making my quality of life difficult, I know that there are people that are far worse off than me. I can't sit there, sitting there feeling sorry for myself, even though it's difficult and it, and it hurts. Because as I thought, there's always people worse than what you are. So it makes so you've got to be more appreciative of what I have. But as I said before, and then you get people that, for example, that start being nasty to you for no apparent, for no apparent reason. And I'm not a nasty person. I only, give back what I only give back what I get from people I don't go out of my way to confrontation I'm the kind of guy where even when someone's being nasty to me or being verbally or physically abusive I don't like confrontation not because I, obviously you, you, you can end up being in worse trouble and then end up being in big problems or you can end up being worse off out of it like being dead or god or you killing somebody <clears throat> but I don't like sitting in confrontation. I'm not a negative person. Of all, sometimes people say I am because I like speaking the truth. But I don't go out of my way being negative or being horrible, to, whether it's to people um, in real life, in, in the real world, or even on social platforms, because which is easy to do because you're behind the screen. Now I know I've done things where I've done where I've called up things like Josh Wilde in a comic book movie and something that it's not doing it to be kind of to be abusive or to be <clears throat> a nasty person with that it's more to do with that as I've, I've said in my other video just that when you expect people when people are just being shields and bootlicking rather than trying to be objective and try to be proper journalism and then when people aren't trying to be objective and then you can see that they're being biased to me that's an apt turn off you see sites for example that <coughs> youtube is that focus only on xbox again that's totally fine even though i've got an xbox console or on playstation or on nintendo again that's fine because you know what you're getting because it's a a site a, a console a sorry a channel based on that particular platform but when you've got a platform that is supposed to be um about encompassing the whole comic book genre but you're being biased just to get clicks and hits for me that's kind of exciting so that's why i call things like that out <clears throat> and then 
the problem is with social media i think is that what i've been starting to get put off by it is the whole negativity side around it or as i said people being abusive on there especially you know you sit behind the screen and then so so but i found myself right now now not really being on solely distancing myself away from it so facebook don't really bother with it and um, whatsapp i don't really kind of use it now and twitter the only real reason why i do is because when i'm doing my when i was doing my youtube stuff because i don't know what's going on right now um, or if i'll be able to upload this video so who knows if anyone will see me ranting is that I was only using it to basically say, look, you know, I've got my new YouTube channel up. Blah, 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 blah. Please, please watch. And if you choose to watch it, you or to subscribe or to share. You know, that's, the, uh, that's on that person. But, as I said, um, for me, I found it an absolute turn Because you just seen people just going out of their way, as I said, to be nasty and, and to be horrible. So, for example... If you all say good at doing something and, and then you become popular for doing it, that's great. But then what always happens is you get people that always try to bring you down. Because for, 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 for whatever reason, they don't like what you're doing or they're just jealous of what you do. And I'm not that kind of person where, you know, where, I, where I've been accused of manipulating people that's not that's not the real that's not me that's not the person i am and i know it's kind of hard to convey on the video on how i really am unless you know me in real life but that's not the characteristics of how i am <clears throat> but it's worst of all when you think people really are your friends but when you're going for a bad time in life where it's the health money someone's died i've had that happen right people don't support you they don't support you they don't even have your back whatever happened to people um always having your back and think and saying you know what you know you know what i know he's not that kind of a person because he's not that he's not that kind of a character where he's going to be malicious or nasty i i know i know um i they know who and how I really am and I'm not that kind of person and then yet you get people that will go out their way to simply dush to just destroy rather than just enjoying life and that's what that's what for me is, is made me feel like I've, I just want to just give up because this seems to be a thing in society these days where I know to think life is tough for everyone but it doesn't mean that you kind of sit there and you kind of take things out on people, you know? And then maybe just because things aren't necessarily going well in your life, it's, well, if I can't have a good life, then, for example, nobody else can have one. So I'll sit there and I'll destroy them and try to ruin them because I can't have that life myself. Like, as I said for when I did the PS5, and the Xbox Series X, um, and then even and even the Xbox One S videos. Yeah, I got a lot of um, likes, but then um, I got a lot of dislikes and comments. All right, and that was simply just because I had the consoles. Now, even I know, I'm even I know I'm very very lucky and fortunate that I got give. Not only did that I was given those consoles. And I never had to pay a penny for it. Somebody said, my, my nephew, God bless him, um, went out there and bought me those consoles. And even at this current moment, is um, I'm eventually going to get a 4K TV from him, right? And that's, to me, that means so much and so humbling that somebody's taken their hard earned money to go out to help you when they don't need to, right? To do something for you. And that to me is such a nice feeling when, as I said, somebody wants to be with you. So you have to realize in life 
um, how how lucky you are in life to have what you have and how humbling it is to have what you have or what you're kind of given in life. And that's one of the lessons that I've learned in life. Never ever take things, never ever take um, things or people for granted, because especially when somebody's helping you and giving you stuff. But as I said, it's so difficult when you're trying to do good things. It's like, it's like the more good that you kind of try to do, the more that, um, the more that people will throw it back in your face or they get jealous or they try to destroy you. And then it's either that you, the, the, the same, your friends stab you in the back or the friends that you thought you had would have your back and would support you and go, hang on a minute, I'm gonna support, you know, he's lost he, maybe he's lost a loved one or he's going for a bad time, what's wrong? Do you need to talk? Do you need, I'll, I'll take you for, you know, do this and cheer you up. None of them care. It's like most, as for example, most people don't even remember, remember my birthday. Or even things like during like through COVID. Nobody um, asked me, nobody, no one, and then you're going for a tough time, be putting a brave face. Nobody went to me, hey, you okay? Are you okay? Because I know you're, um, um, what's the, I forgot what the, what, 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 what the word. I was, hot, um, I was susceptible to it, right? Because of the illnesses I've got. And people knew that. No one, no, no one asked me, said to me, not, you, don't have to, you don't have to sit and do it every day. Hey, you, you know, you okay? How are you doing? Because emotionally, it is affecting you, especially when you, you know, you're worried about you might get it or what the effect, because some people get it and it's, and then they're fine with it. Some people get it, bam, they're dead. And then you've got your family who you have to then protect. As well, and you're worried about your, your like, say, like my, like my mother, um, you're not getting it, and then she's getting on now, and then she's got high risk, the same as me. And then you see, so you're sitting there, you know, worrying through all that, all that stuff, and not one person sits there and says to you, and it's not a difficult thing, thing, thing to do. People don't sit there saying to you, hey, how are you? Are you all right? And you don't, I mean, you don't even get that. I mean, it just shows, as I said, that as a society, that we live in a world where people just don't care. I suppose that's always been like that, but people just don't actually even, people don't even actually even care anymore. And people are just so selfish. And whether it's, People, governments, MPs, where they're sitting there making all their money, and why everybody has to sit and struggle. It's like, what has, I just don't understand what has become of society when we don't care. And I know, as again, as I said earlier on that, you're probably, you know, you, you, people will sit there maybe accused of being woke, but I just sit there and believe that you just have to live the best way you, you can in life. And if you can help somebody or be support, if you can help someone, it's not always about, about money. You, you help people. I mean, maybe those people will help someone else or maybe in your hour of need, those people will help you or, you know, people need to be more supportive of each other and have people's backs. But as I said, people would rather stab you in the back rather than, you know, be supportive. And especially how they know, you think that they know your character they know that you're a person of integrity. And they and, and, and then they treat you like shit. And that to me is where things, you know, like, that's where things for me are really, really disappointing. And why I've just lost faith in society, I've lost faith in people. And I do feel like now with like certain things that have gone wrong. I do feel like I've, I've, I've just got to a point where it's like I've just given up. Because it's like, you give and you give and you give and you give. And then all, and then all you get back is, all you get back is crap. So you think, so now you just sit there to yourself, why am I wasting my time for? Why, why am I sitting there trying to be a good person? Why are people sit, sitting there? And then they use you or you treat you like crap and, you, and you're simply just trying to be a good person. You think yourself, why? So, you know what I mean? You, you just get to, I've just got to point, I've just gone to the brink of, 
I don't know why I'm bothering for. As I said before, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that I'm a perfect person. I, I have my bad points, I have my good points. I mean, I'm not a perfect human being. We, I make mistakes. We all do, that's what makes us human. I mean, nobody's perfect. I mean, when you're simply just trying to do the right thing, you're trying to be respectful to people, like what I was saying about when people um, are in my, my property, and then I, for example, I asked, I get you sorted in another video, I asked the guy to leave politely three or four times. Wasn't abusive, because again, after, even though I was angry and he shouldn't have been there, because again, you have to worry about, you know, what somebody may or may not do, especially when you have your family. I was still trying to be civil. Similar to what I was trying to do today in what in what happened and As soon as you sit there and try to be a nice person and you try to be civil With um, certain people they just throw it back in your face And then they should know better right that you're not that kind of a person where you're a bad person because again I'm not But I'm not gonna sit there and take crap from people when someone dish out me. I'm not the type of person where somebody sits there and then does crap to me. And then I sit there and, and I take it. And even when someone throws dishes out crap on me, I'm not the kind of person where I'm horrible and I start swearing and I'm, I'm abusive or, phys or physically or verbally abusive. I, I kind of, I don't think of the right word. I, I have to with her, I actually, um, I'm trying to think of the right, right word. I actually try to, um, withhold the way I am. So if I'm gonna be angry, or if I'm gonna sit there and say something horrible and naughty, because I don't like, oh yeah, that's the right word, confrontation, as I said earlier on. Um, I don't, I'm not a confrontational person. It's not because I'm a coward or I'm a chicken. It's just, I just don't see the need for the negativity or the anger or to be spiteful or horror or to be nasty. That's not who I am. That's not what makes me me. And when, as I said, when people go out their way um, to be this way, whether it's, on, whether it's in society, in life in general, or um, when you're simply trying to help people, or even on so, um, online, which is the worst thing, which is why, again, I don't bother so much as online, where I'm <coughs> dist distancing myself away from it now. Um, I, don't have, I don't have the energy for it, because as I said, <coughs> um, whether it's with people doing that, or you're trying to help people, or you, you, you think people are your friends. I don't have the energy anymore because of the fact, obviously, I'm getting older. As I said before, I've got my health problems. So it's making, so my health problems are make, making things so difficult now. So I don't have the energy to waste when people are going to waste your time and be, and, and, you know, treat you like crap or you or used or you're going to start attacking people verbally or physically. Right, I don't have the energy to waste anymore because even now I'm finding it difficult to play video games long, for a long, short period, long periods of time, or watching like all the TV shows I want to watch or movies because it, it, it's just taking it's so hard being able to try to concentrate when you've got all your health problems. So I don't have that energy to sit there to be spiteful or negative or to you know to go after people because that's not in my nature and I don't have the energy to do that. And instead of sitting there and with the pe instead of people wasting all that negativity and thinking and all that nastiness and hatefulness in this world, or even in your society, wherever you are, in, or wherever you are, why not you sit there and use that energy in a more constructive light? That's the reason why all those years ago. I decided to do a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, it's not the most professional compared to other people, but you 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 have to work with work with what you've got. And one day, hopefully, you know, you things fingers crossed, things will get better. Whether it's for you, whether it's for me, or for you. And I decided to sit there and take the plunge and do video, and then do video game play, video gameplay um, playthroughs, unboxings of things that I've got. And yeah, I know I'm not the most. I haven't got the best voice because you get some YouTubers who, who've got voices as smooth as silk. I don't, I don't have a very articulate voice or, or I don't even like my own voice, which is why initially the videos that I did um, never actually showed my, um, my actual voice. Well, not showed, well, you never actually heard my voice, should I say, because I'm not, 
conf I don't actually like the sound of my own voice. And that's why I'm kind of jealous of yeah, some people that I've got good, really good, articulate speaking voices and I don't have that. And also, it's kind of the reason why. Things like I don't show my, even my face on camera where I did do a review of season one of Smallville and I'm obviously going to hopefully do more if people like it. And then my nephew said to me, tell me what it helps me out with the consoles, by the way. Why don't you sit there and you do, you know, your fa show your face on cam? I don't have the equipment to do it and I'm not, I'm going to sit and be honest. I know people say you shouldn't care, you should just do it. I'm not very confident about, about my looks. I can, I, I can be honest. I don't, I don't necessarily hate myself, obviously. But I'm just not confident with showing my face on camera. Maybe one day that might all change. But I'm just not that kind of person where I'm confident about showing my face on camera. That's just the way it is. Again, maybe that might change in the future. So, yeah, I've done things in my life where I've taken the plunge. I've done YouTube. I've done my unboxes. I've um, done Twitch streaming. Um... I go for walks here and there, but not very far, because obviously my health, health problems. And then I've tried to watch more of my TV shows, even expanded in watching TV shows that I necessarily wouldn't have watched before to expand my palette, so to speak. And even movies, and yeah, I can't, there's more that I want to, I, more that I want to watch. I want to um, eventually go back, um, to finish off my driving lessons and then hopefully to get another car because I had them before but you know there was a, that's a long story which I might explain in another video but I want to go back I want to sit there there's things so many things that I want to be able to do where as of all I want to do more boxes of certain items and then give like really good demonstrations of it um learning how to go so learn how to drive and get a new car I would love to even to be able to one day um another passion of mine is cars and I've always wanted to be able to sit there and get a car and maybe if, even though I'm not a mechanic like my, like my dad to restore a car and then or even test drive cars I may even do that on this and then do the, the test drive of certain cars on my YouTube channel but um, I don't think obviously obviously being a smaller YouTube being a small YouTuber I'm not gonna get all those companies gonna allow me to um, you know, test drive their cars and then do it and, and, so that's I have those passions. I would love to sit there and do more food reviews because food reviews, reviews are certain things, but obviously that can get expensive. And then tell you what I think, my personal opinion of, of what I think of um, the, the particular product, especially if they've got new products coming out. I would love to sit there and be able to travel around the, the country and do vlogs of um, certain areas around London or even outside London or even abroad. There's so many things that... I would like to be able to do, and, and, may, uh, and then obviously before, I never did vlogs before, and it's only because somebody said to me, why don't you sit, you try doing that? Why don't you sit there and try doing movie, movie reviews, even though movie reviews? I never had plans to do movie reviews or films in the cinema, so what I would do is watch a film in the cinema, and as I come out, do a little two minute, three minute video while it's fresh in my head as what I thought with the movie, rather than doing, say, 10, 15 minute um, non-spoiler review, so, review of a movie. Do something really different, because obviously, you have to it's trying to sit there and do something that will make that will make you stand out from most of the other YouTubers, especially when you're a small YouTuber. So I have so many plans that I want to do, and some of them I've been able to do. Some of them I've been I'm will hopefully be able to do, like learning how to drive and getting another good another car. And if I do say get fingers crossed, I know I will I'll start my lessons again, finish off and pass and get the car I want. Yeah, maybe I might even do, a, like a, no, I can't just say an unboxing, a review of the, of the particular of the car and why I got that particular car. Or maybe I might even do vlogs of me driving around certain areas and I could show you why I'm on camera. So I have plans on what I want to do. So again, as I said, I don't know why um, people go out of their way um, to be horrible and negative in this world when life is so short. People should be sitting there and going out there and then doing something and then trying. Even if you don't, you're not, you're unable to do it or you are, you're not being able to do it or you can do it. 
at least you, you could turn and say, you know, it's, the way I see life is, it's better to go out there in life and live the life that, you, that you've tried to do something than to look back on your life not knowing that you haven't done something, even if you don't succeed at it. And this is what I tried to do. And that's why I have my bad and good days when I don't feel like this guy running like, you know, why I've, why I've given up. But I've always set out to try in life, even when things, it, the task may be impossible. But I just don't understand why human beings are just so cruel to each other. I really, really don't understand it if I'm really, really kind of being honest with you. But, you know, as I said, well, I had to... I know this has been a bit, a bit, been a, bit of a long video and some people may, may not like it and think, oh, you're just moaning or that you, you, maybe you might get negative comments. But I just the one thing that you always will get from me is me being honest and speaking from the heart in, and being passionate about how I feel about something rather than trying to be trying to be fake to, 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 to please other people. It should always be about how you feel and about what makes you happy rather than what other people want or want you to be. So you always have to be honest with yourself as a human being and as a person. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes you, have to, you do have to get things in your chest. As I said before, I've only got you guys to, re to, re um, to kind of to talk to um, about certain things in life, so you know, right? I mean, I mean that's all you all you can do. But I mean, as of all, I'm not of a person that is very good at giving advice to people. But all, I, and then as of all, you know, with life being difficult. But what I can say about life is, is difficult as life is, or what the the accomplish, accomplishment that you may want to do in life. Never ever. Even I'm being kind of a hypocrite because I'm giving up. Never ever give up hope um, in wanting whatever you want to do, what, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, or accomplish in life. Always do, always do things for you, not for what what people want you to do, or you're doing things to please other people. Always do, you know, like I said, always do things for you and don't ever let never ever let anybody put even if you're you've got no friends you may life may not be going you may not have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or you, you gay or straight it doesn't matter or you may be on your own never ever let people put you down or undervalue your worth in life because that's what makes you unique as a person that's what always value you even if people don't value you so that's my, the best advice I can kind of um, give people. And I know it doesn't sound that much, but again, sorry for the, um, the long video and the kind of ranting and maybe I haven't expressed what I'm feeling, but hopefully I'm, I'm, you know, I hope people have got the gist of what I mean trying to express and how I feel. But as I can say with me, speak for being honest at the moment now, I don't feel, you know, I don't feel great i don't feel loved or appreciated i don't mean loved as in the sense of a girlfriend i don't really care about it, it happens it happens but i mean loved in the sense that how, in the sense that how people treat you when you're trying to do the right thing and try to be a good person but anyway um i hope this is some of help to some people out there who are maybe who are feeling underappreciated in life or maybe you've gone through abuse in life so um anyway i hope this helps so Wherever you are in the world, take care, stay safe, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.